Hello, I'm Kyle Perno from the Finnish Center for Smart Cities. This is an international research and development center established by researchers from two universities, Talte from Estonia and Aldo from Finland. Establishment of our center has been supported by Horizon 2020 teaming grant and by the European Regional Development Fund for the piloting program. Our passion is to develop cities for people. And we can use the capabilities of the researchers from those two universities. We have also set a measurable goal for ourselves to develop at least 20 solutions that get implemented in 30 cities in Europe by 2030. The Centre has built strong research teams in these five domains built environment, energy, mobility, and horizontally also data and government. Today, I'm here to tell you more about our piloting program experience. This is a unique program where we have gathered city challenges and get our researchers to offer new solutions to those challenges. We have selected six pilots so far, and these will be implemented by summer 2023. We are also planning eight more pilots that will be launched in 24 and 25. There is always one or two cities as piloting partners in those pilot projects. And the budgets of those pilots have been between 500 to 600k for 18 month pilots and 1.2 to 1.4 million for 29 month pilots. The center does the pilots to build up its sustainability and of course in order to get new smart solutions from the lab to the real streets. To become sustainable we need the pilots to prepare follow-up grant proposals, attract strong researchers into our team, develop services that the center can offer to many other cities and also start spin-offs or cooperation uh, with existing companies that would bring real income uh, through the sales uh, to the center. In the summer and autumn 2020, we did quite a large survey with Estonian towns to understand their challenges that could be solved by smart solutions. That involved a questionnaire, analysis, prioritization of challenges and workshops where we got deeper into those top challenges. These are the 10 top urban challenges that were chosen by the cities for the first two rounds of the Smart City Challenge. As you see, there are quite some related to the mobility and energy, but also lack of comprehensive city planning and not enough meaningful use of data to develop the cities and offer services to their citizens. By now, we have done two rounds of selections of pilot ideas and launched four large pilots, 29 months strong, uh, long, in January 21, and two medium-sized pilots, 18 months long, in January 22. These are the six pilots running at the moment, and they should achieve their results by summer 2023. So very shortly about the pilots. Green Twins is developing 3D urban plant library and digital tools for urban dynamic greenery planning. This will be used in participatory processes in city planning hubs, but some can also be used through the web. Future Mobility is piloting the chain from a private houses area close to the city to working places and schools inside the city, and also to the port area where the ships are going to Sweden and Finland. This combines mobility as a service, where people can plan their whole journey, and also order a self-driving bus uh, to pick up uh, from their street corner and take them to the public transport hub. The self-driving buses will drive people to the public transport stops also in the port area. The third pilot is developing hardware and software solution 
for microgrids and energy storage. To allow smooth and optimal use of different types of energy and how this energy can be exchanged, sold and bought by the neighbors instead of selling it back to the large energy companies. DigiAudit develops a solution to manage your energy usage and internal climate optimally and the pilot is done in 45 schools and kindergartens in two cities in Estonia. Resto develops digital tools that makes it possible for cities to create energy efficient and affordable renovation strategy for the whole district. It would be a tremendous help for the house owners as mostly they are not too good energy and construction experts by themselves to find optimal solutions for renovation. And the six pilot helps the cities to measure the real well-being of their uh, people in concrete city locations. This is needed to make database decisions about spatial planning of public spaces. So how have we done the selection and preparation process and what we plan to do differently in the next phases? This is the helicopter view of the process. We start with gathering and prioritizing city challenges. Then we look for ideas to solve the challenges, mostly from the research community. Together with the founders of the Finnish Center for our Smart Cities and smart city research and business experts, we evaluate the ideas and choose the most prospective ones. After that, we develop the ideas into practical project plans together with the researchers and partner cities. And the final selection is made by the International Evaluation Committee and our steering group. And the centre, together with the researchers and cities, carries out the pilot projects. So what we have learned and what we plan to do differently for the next eight pilots. At the time of pilot preparation, the teams do planning still quite superficially, as they are not yet sure if they will be selected and also the time they have had for planning this has been quite scarce. And that causes problems in implementation. So we have decided to plan more time for the preparatory phase and even add a four months validation time for top 10 pilots and also finance this phase a little as, as well. Validation with the potential user groups of the pilot solution has been missing at all from the preparatory phase. And in several cases, it has only been started in the second phase of the pilot. However, it can and should be done much earlier. You do not need in reality to have the solution ready in order to validate the need and willingness to use a potential solution by their potential users. With the cities, we have both good and bad experiences. It is some are really interested in the solution and are contributing wholeheartedly. But unfortunately, some have joined as they have seen money coming or the strategic office or a development manager saw that this is a good thing to do. But in reality, when we started to work with the real units doing it in practice, it came out that they do not have the real need and so the motivation has been really low. So again, we need longer preparatory phase where the center will work together with the city and the piloting team to see in real life if there is the need and motivation also on the city side. On paper and in our wishes, it seems that the things can be done quite quickly, but the real life has shown that in order to have a good quality research and development, and have time to pilot and make the improvements based on the pilots and of course also han handle the labor summit com complicated tendering processes, it takes time. So we have decided that 25 months, 24 months is the minimum uh, for the smaller pilots and for more research intensive pilots it should be 36 months. The researchers are used to do research projects. 
and their goal is to publish articles. Thinking about business opportunities and also keeping part of the results and methodologies inside the team is not the usual thing for them. And it has taken some time to get common understanding and agreement how to handle this so that both sides are happy. But it is doable. And we see that for most of our six pilots, there is a potential service or product coming out. Also, the evaluation process has been quite tricky. So the main improvement we do here is that uh, we have divided the selection criteria among different types of experts, so that research experts evaluate only research criteria and so on. Here you can see the selection criteria grouped by the types of evaluators. Great thanks to our financiers and partners. And thank you, dear audience. You are welcome to contact me with questions and, of course, cooperation proposals.